if you've um, followed textbooks tutorial correctly um, you should be arriving at this screen here we're flashing an MS-28 Samsung drive using the NTFS DOS CD method and I'm showing you how to do it with the Blaster 360 um, it's just a very quick tutorial just covering the bits that people seem to be getting stuck on when using the Blaster um, I'll be doing it while I'm filming so if it's a bit shaky I apologize <coughs> so we already created the iPrep folder earlier using iPrep um, again following textbooks tutorial up until this point and I'll be carrying on so we're now at the command prompt and I need to mount my hard drive which is C so I type in C turn on enter and now my C drive we need to navigate to the iPrep folder CD space I prep and enter we're now in the iPrep folder and uh, at this point we are able to type in our commands but first we need to set up the blaster um, I purchased on eBay uh, you can see the power adapter there the cable and on the end we have a Molex uh, power, uh, connector I purchased that on eBay, it was very cheap you don't have to use one of those as you can see my PC that I'm flashing with has spare connectors which you can use to power the blaster if you want to we don't need those today because I'm using this I just find it easier and I had it anyway so um, we'll plug this into the blaster okay that's plugged in and we're going to switch it on you see there the blaster now has the uh, has power and has given power to the DVD drive you won't see any other lights on the console won't appear to be on other than the blue illumination on the blaster mine has extra mods which includes LEDs which is why you see the green but if you don't have any of that you won't see anything else other than the blue light uh, as I said we're at the command prompt so at this stage we're now going to plug in the SATA cable as well into the front of the blaster that's in so we've got the cable power cable and now the serial cable connected so we're ready to dump our firmware so back to the keyboard and I'm going to type in I dump space then you want to put in your serial number space and then the five digit number six one, two, three, five. okay that's going to be out of focus there so we're ready to dump the firmware if we hit enter as you can see our DVD drive has been detected it's in the list there number two extreme primary master this is the point where you need to switch the blaster off in textbooks tutorial this is where you would switch the 360 off but as we're not using the 360 to power the DVD drive we switch off the blaster coming back to the screen we can now select number two our DVD drive and count one two three four seconds switch it back on for me four seconds works you have to do a bit of trial and error as to see what works for you as you can see iDump has completed everything here SAM tool uh, is completed we've got the drive key displayed there confirming that the drive key has also been saved in a text file if I can see, there we go, you can see there and it's confirmed the drive key is copied, everything is completed uh, it's, as it states there, you know, I actually firmware is now ready to be flashed so we've dumped our firmware and the hacked firmware has been created at this point we want to power off the blaster and unplug the starter cable leave the power one connected for now because you're going to be using it again in a minute and at this point we can now reboot our computer so uh, I'm going to do that and uh, the next video we'll show you how to flash <laughs>